What's up everybody, Blaze Jedi here, and welcome back to Carrier Command 2, episode 2 of our Frog Hopper campaign. If you remember last time, we had just captured Adversir, Adversir, Adversir. We are currently just waiting for our seals to come back to base, and once they are here, we're going to make our way over to Brachius. So everybody, I don't know if you can notice it, but we are like jittering just a little bit. It might you might be able to see it on YouTube unless I zoom in all the way. All right, I'm waiting till you load in to continue. Hey, look there! Oh, look at that! Look at it drifting! <laughs> That's awesome! I, I oh mean... man, I hope I looked at that early. That was cool. All right, wait, wait, wait! Before you take a station, turn around. Oh hi! Stop moving. All right, so chat, you you know Tevis, but for the YouTube, all right, YouTube, I have my buddy here, Senor Tevis, with his uh, mutton chops. He'll be joining our crew for this mission. Say hi, Tevis. Hi. Giving me the bombastic side eye right now. Ah. All right. I am outside on the deck. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yep. Look at look at Tevis. There he is, next to my missiles. Oh man, I can't get to the missiles. <laughs> How do I run? Oh, hold shift. Like a skinwalker. Screech. <laughs> a predator just to see. Not, they're not predators. I kind of keep saying that. I want to launch a, uh, a mantis to see uh, a mantis. An albatross to see what's out there. Oh, that's not good. There's already an uh, enemy taking off. So, what we're gonna do, chat? We're gonna fire some guns, hit this. Th oh, no power. Shite. Okay, there we go. Now fire. There's the rounds I was looking for. There's a ton of air units in there. You see the Manta and the helicopter? Let's get another salvo. This rain is hard to read through, but it's not too bad. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, look at this convoy of units here. All right, well, let's go ahead and give them the good news. We have carrier cruise missile, and we will launch. All right, can I take control of your full station on this one, boy? Yeah, so on the right-hand side of CIC, there's three vehicle stations. Carrier, okay. How do I do that? Okay, so if you look at the left side of the board, there's something that says surface, and there's four lights. Um, in the in the screen, in the actual command screen, if you click on the carrier, it could you could tell what unit to deploy, or you can click one of the lights and the coordinating unit will launch. Um, if you go to the navigation screen or the not the navigation, I'm sorry, the logistics screen, you can actually see what everything has on it. Okay, so we're waiting to see. So the vehicle loadout. Yeah, so vehicle loadout, you can see what has what. Okay. And then from there, you can tell what vehicle to launch. Luckily, none of these guys have anti-air. Like, there's no sea whiz or anything. Uh, you start seeing that about tier 3. But I, I'm pretty sure some tier 2 can see them, too. All right, here's that missile. Sweet. Clear target. Pickle. Pickle. 
Oh, lost a drone. But, good splash on the targets. <laughs> okay, we have an albatross down. Oh, you made a unit. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out how to Okay, launch. come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Okay. Okay. On this screen, on the right-hand side, you see these green dots that say surface? Oh. You click one. Or, if you take, if you sit in the vehicle, command seat, whatever, click on the carrier, and it also gives you options. You can click on one of those options and send it on the way. You disarmed all of these seals, so they're going to launch with no weapon. Yep. Okay. Click. Okay, it's launching. Now, once it launches, you'll be able to see it on the map and take control of it. Razor Bill. Now, if you want, yeah, I'm going to hop in the Razor Bill. You could spectate the Razor Bill and see me actually command it. Uh, okay, how do I do that? There's a, if you click on the unit, oh, there's an option called camera. All right, I got two missiles away. You could start sending in the seals. Um, deploy, I think it's S4. Because he has viper spots, take him to the island. Oh, nice, I got two without one. Okay, I'm going to take two vehicles to the island. And attack that radar dish? Kinda. So once your units get there... Oh. You have I'm a unit... Put them on the beach. You have a unit in the back called... Uh, it has a weapon called the virus bot. What you're going to do is take command of, the vi of that unit and then fire the virus bots. Okay, is that in the, uh, uh, S4 one? That's the S4, yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, you have a clear path to the... nodes. Okay, my, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna fly right by you guys. I'm connected to the camera. I see you! Oh. <laughs> and virus bots are away. And back to the carrier. All right, everybody. So we've successfully captured the island of Bacchus. And we actually got a lot for our trouble. Oh, wow. I didn't actually know that the uh, battle cannon was here. So our next island is going to be... Niades. How do you say this, Tevis? Niades? I, I would say Niades. Or Naides. Alright, chat. So we're recovering the last of our seals. Once everybody's back in the hold, we are going to make our way over to Naides. The weapons are not on? No. So if you save power, you, you first faster. of all, you can serve fuel and you also go faster. Oh, okay. Okay, Lift. so everybody's on board. So without further ado, engine stop. Click. Can you uh? <laughs> thank you. Give me some breathing room, please. Okay. So by the time we get to the island, you'll have a full ground army. The important one, like the VIP, if there was one, is S4. Okay. So everything but S4. Get out my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll go man the helm. <laughs> Question: Can you uh? Make another carrier. Oh no. Yes, uh, but the problem is I'd have to start the game with the other carrier. Oh. Uh, when we get to about here, storage. we'll stop and uh, begin our scout. Don't mind Tevis, he's walking around the ship. <laughs> All these times I've played this game, I've never explored the ship. There's seven levels to explore, so. Are we going to get closer to it to, uh... No, I'm going to fucking fire the torpedoes. Okay, Tev, I'm going to teach you torpedo. All right, so come over here. So yeah. first thing we're going to do is load the torpedoes. Ooh, all four of them. Ooh. Then we're going to set an activation delay of 60 seconds, because once these bitches go active, they're hot. Then we are yeah. going to set the bearing to 77. 
or just about 77. Then, and this is my favorite part, we are going to fire torpedo one. And now we wait. Well, the uh, torpedo like automatically steer into it? or you Yeah, so what happens is after 60 seconds, the torpedo goes active. Once it goes active, it kind of have it, it, its own onboard radar, so to speak. Think okay. of it like an underwater missile. Like, it'll go active. Oh, yeah. it, it's tracking, um, will auto-track that target. And then that target will try and, you know, dupe the missile. It'll drop, um, it'll drop countermeasures. It'll try its best to get away. All right, taking command of the Albatross, I'm gonna go fight this ship. Wait, we'll turn up and just weapons. Okay, weapons all activated. Woo, I just dodged a missile. You said the weapons are up? Yep. Oh, the carrier's out of range. Okay, Needlefish is dead. Damn I? Okay. Go to Gimbal and take manual control and start looking at targets. And then look around. You know, there's targets everywhere. Okay, one off to your right. Hey. Okay, I request it. There it is. Now you're going to hold lock. You could stabilize your character, the tracking, and you're going to hold that lock. Okay, and then what do I do now, again? Just keep watching it. There is an enemy aircraft behind you. Good effect. Look at this, look at this gaggle. There's four of them right here. Okay, party people, we've uh, scouted out most of this island. We're just well, uh, mopping up the last of the seals and walruses now. Um, we're going to launch the ground units with some helicopter backup and go assault. The command post is on the other end of the island from the carrier. Let's bring this boy home and get to capturing. Okay, when I get in the vehicle, do I have to take control of the vehicle? Yes. Otherwise, you're just observing it. Get a drone to follow you. Get a drone? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Fish boy. You should record that for me so I could use it. <laughs> uh, get, no! I don't know how to record, but that might give me the mod. It might be. All right, let's check out this convoy from this seal right here. Okay, sweet, I hit a sand boy. Oh! Oh, that's a whole island. Oh, I can see it. I fired a missile. How, I I... how far can these shoot off at? Uh, a thousand meters is about their effective range. Okay. If I put the, the 20 mic mic on auto, does it shoot automatically? It'll shoot automatically once it's in range. Hey, bet.
Tevis is now securing the position around the control room. Our scouts are coming up from another angle. And this seal, which is trailing, will join them shortly. And then, it looks like they can get down this way and come home. Oh, so. that's a cliff. Oh. Uh. I don't want to die. I don't want to destroy this. It said you yeah, can go man. down this way, but this is a really steep hill. I'm going to enter your vehicle, too, so... Is that a seat open for me? Yeah, you can, so you can always spectate a vehicle someone else is using. Okay. Alright, so... Now we're doing this. Alright, everybody. Alright, everybody. So, this island is secure. We are just getting our good old virus bot here to deploy. And then... We're gonna head home. On TV. Yep. So, deployment in three, two, one. Oh, you can see the pod is stuck to my face, apparently. Yep. Oh, cause it, does it use the crane? Uh, I'm not sure, but I don't want to... I don't think they do, but just in case. Yeah, okay. All right, everybody, and with that, Nades is captured. We have unlocked a sonic pulse generator, a deployable drone, and smoke launchers. And this is where we're going to wrap it up for the day. Uh, we just have to gather our units, and then in the next episode, we will be on the way to our next two islands. Uh, maybe one island, depending on how hard Fornox is. But going forward, once we capture Fornox, we are going to move our way down to Arachnid, then to Beacon, and then up to Edgeley. I might actually change this up and take the bottom islands first and then come up, so we'll, we'll see when we get back. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, blondie. All right, everybody. So that's going to do it for us today here. We have successfully captured these two islands. And like I said before, we are going to come back and go ahead and take those other two. Uh, Tevis, thank you for joining me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and yeah. All right, party people. Hey, if you like this content, you know what to do. And until next time, so long. Farewell. Later, party people. Bye,